there fellow campers and welcome to our overview on the campsite at the Karoo National Park just outside of the charming little town of Beaufort West in the Western Cape. This is a very convenient stopover for people traveling to and from the High Felton Cape Town but it's also a very popular weekend haunt for folks from the Cape and they are often fully booked over weekends. You can get there entirely on tar all the way to the campsite. It's a four kilometer drive from the entry gate to reception where you need to book in prior to heading off to the campsite. There are 20 level campsites with a paved area and 11 others that don't have the paved area and are just on gravel. Not all the sites have shade and this may or may not necessarily be a bad thing as it can be mightily cold in the winter months and you may want any sunlight you can get. Sites do vary in size and some are quite compact and others fairly spacious. Unless at the end, you will have a neighbour on either side and vegetation or a hedge at the back. The campsite is suitable for all types of camping, tents, motorhomes, campers, trailers and caravans. There is access to power on all the sites. Just bring long extension cords in case your best position on the site is not near the power stand. There are shared water points between every two to three stands. So bring a splitter if you need a dedicated water supply. Each site has a portable bry and dustbin. The campsite is fairly regulated in its side-by-side -side design, but it is well kept, neat and clean. The campsite also offers really great birding opportunities, while the night skies offer sightings of meteors and satellites amid a vast background of twinkling stars. The one ablution block is typical of Sand Park's bathrooms. They could do with an upgrade, but they are clean and everything worked. The showers have solid doors and a small dry area with a bench and hooks and a shower stall with hot water behind a glass door. There are two rooms with baths and the usual flushing toilets, hand basins and mirrors. There is also a porta potty dump station. You'll find an enclosed kitchen with hot plates, a microwave and washing facilities for dishes. Across the way there is a laundry with a coin operated washing machine and tumble dryer. The entire camp is lodged and fenced and there are numerous walking trails that one can take. There's also a bird hide that you can either drive or walk to. A lovely swimming pool lies at the complete opposite end of the camp and it's a very long uphill walk. So maybe just take the car. The camp has a restaurant with indoor and outdoor seating, but it has very restricted operating hours and services. So just check. There is a small shop, but it is more in the way of curios and snacks. So rather bring everything you need or stock up in Beaufort West, which is about five kilometers away. On the technology front, our phones and routers worked for both calls and data on MTN and Vodacom. Once you're out of the campsite, Karoo National Park is a stark and arid wilderness with Karoo scrubland and tall majestic cliffs. Although lion have been reintroduced into the park, you'll be seriously lucky if you manage to see them. More likely you'll encounter Gemsbok, Elant, Springbok, Ostrich and the endangered mountain zebra. The geography is outstanding and a drive around Klipspringer Pass will take you over the mountain and down through the valley. The length of Klipspringer Pass is tarred but after that it becomes a gravel road with some rocky patches and although suitable for all types of vehicles, you will be more comfortable in something with a little better suspension. The entire loop starting and ending at the camp is about 45 kilometers. There are a number of 4x4 only roads and although they may look fairly tame at the outset, further down the road they become tougher going and there often isn't a place to turn around. While Karoo National Park is convenient and safe as a one night stopover, for the true nature lover, it deserves probably at least three nights to see and do it all. Just remember that being a national park, you will need to leave your fur and feathered babies at home. Karoo National Park is definitely on my list to visit again and for longer. Well, that's it for this one. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you for your time. Stay safe. Be well, and I hope to catch you in a campsite sometime.